Hi there. We're going to talk about contact and company records in Workamajig. And so when we look at contact and company records, that's where you're going to house the base information about all of the different contacts that you have in your system, as well as the different companies that they may or may not be associated with. When we look at contacts, in the regular contact area, we're going to see that we can see all the different recent contacts that we've been utilizing. So it's quick to get back to something if you had to uh, step away. You have a global search to get through and find your contacts quickly. And if I drill into any of these contact records, I can see the details of that contact. And there might be information about the actual contact themselves, of course, their name, what company that they're associated with, if they're associated with a company, because they don't have to be, phone numbers, if by chance they have a different email address that we need for future invoicing, and some of their social media information. We'll also be able to look at addresses. So do we have one or more address for that contact? And in Workamajig, we do allow for you to create custom fields because there may be specific things that you need to track about individuals that aren't going to be appropriate for every Workamajig user. You're also going to see any connections that this contact has. And this is going to grow as you do more and more with this contact. There might be meetings, there might be projects, there might be opportunities. Having all that information so that over time, you can really see the history of what you've been doing with that contact. Next, we're gonna look at the company records. And with the company records, it's very similar. We wanna make sure that as you go through the system, you're gonna be able to find things really easily because everywhere we go, we're gonna have that consistency of how those screens work. All of the different recent companies you've looked at, a search, a variety of different areas that we can report on. And of course, drilling into any company record, we want to be able to see details, the company information, lots of different pieces that we can have to make sure that we have the details about that company. An area for addresses. So making sure that you have the ability to have variable addresses, because many companies do have multiple offices that might be in different countries or different states or just different locations in a single city. Also, again, custom fields. Are there certain things on your company records that you need to track? And it's very unique to your firm. That's an area that we can do any kind of custom field that you might need. Connections. Just like with the contacts, different company records are gonna be connected to variable things in Workamajig. It might be meetings. It might be contacts that are associated with this company. It could be different opportunities that we've worked on over the years with them. There might be a variety of different projects that we've done for that company. So if you're jumping into a meeting and you want to have a quick overview of that company and everything that you've been doing with them, it's really easy to just look through the connections or even look at the conversations. Conversations are going to be, again, throughout Workamajig. And conversations have a variety of different functions. It might simply be putting a note. It might be scheduling things for you to do for that company. It may be initiating an email communication with someone from that company that we want to track. But all of it then becomes part of the history of that company record. So as you can see with the contact and company records in Workamajig, we try to keep it consistent so we know how to access and search through the information. There's a great deal of reporting tools available revolving around those records, and also, of course, making sure that we have great history.